morning from Mumbai. This video is going to be showing you how expensive things are here and I'm going to break down the cost of one day's worth of spending. So to begin with, my hostel, Backpacker Panda, one of the highest rated hostels on Hostel World, costs 859 rupees, just below 10 pounds. Expensive for India. Hostels in Mumbai generally are more expensive than other places in India. Most of the time my hostels have cost 400 rupees to 500 rupees. So Mumbai is certainly expensive for accommodation and accommodation is always going to be your biggest cost. The hostel itself, Backpacker Panda, is a good hostel and I recommend it for Mumbai. It's clean, good Wi-Fi, nice common room, decent location in the north in Andheri East. However, getting to the south of Mumbai isn't always the easiest thing to do, as I'm going to mention later on in the video. So for breakfast, as you can see, I've got some Upma, some South Indian thick porridge, usually made with semolina, and it comes with this dip here, just 65 rupees. Sitting by this clean restaurant in the middle of Mumbai, here are the prices you can get. Doses, a little bit more expensive than if you were to buy them on the street. Special doses, palm, which is a thicker, slightly more filling version of dosa. Sandwiches within a pound, different snacks, different types of rolls, burgers if you fancy western food, all the different types of pav bhaji. If you want soup, you can get it for beneath 100 rupees for most of them. Indian dishes, we have all of them are under 200 rupees. Of course you would have to order that with roti or rice. So let's have a look at the rice. Steam rice is 100. A roti will cost you just 18 for one. A naan 40 or 60 for one. Dal, lentil curry will cost you just over 100 rupees. If you fancy Chinese food, a different option. You can get some noodle dishes beneath 200 rupees or fried rice. Quick drink stop for breakfast, chai on the street by a local, 15 rupees. So right now I'm in an area called Fort, which is in the south of Mumbai. You can get to the south of Mumbai from the north by two options really. First one, you can take the train service, which as I said in the last video, can be extremely uncomfortable and crowded, especially during rush hour, but even during normal times. But if you want to do that, it's just 10 rupees to take the train. The other option is to go by taxi. So you can use Uber or you can use a normal city taxi. The normal city taxis, which are black on the bottom and yellow on the top, run on a meter and they can be a lot more expensive than Ubers. So to go from the north to the south, generally is about 200 rupees when it's not rush hour but it can be up to 400 rupees during rush hour so it varies a lot on some occasions it can take two to three hours to get through the city and that's because mumbai is like this bottleneck surrounded by sea so everything is built upwards unlike delhi where they can build outwards and so it's the second most densely populated city in the world after dakar in bangladesh i believe so very intense and lots of people and lots of traffic everyone wants a bus everyone wants a train everyone wants to try and get on the road it is very concentrated rickshaws are another useful method of transportation in mumbai but generally they only can go short distances as to go from the long distances you need to take the big highways and rickshaws don't really stand up to taxis on those routes but Everywhere in Mumbai, the rickshaws will have a meter, unlike northern India, where you can get ripped off as a foreigner uh, or as an Indian for using a rickshaw. So on two occasions, I've taken the train to get to the south from the north. So I'm gonna use that 10 rupee fee for today because it is the cheapest way you can do it. And I wanna show you just how cheap you can do things in Mumbai. It's gonna be 200 extra rupees if you decide to take an Uber. 
So at Pancham Puri Bala, to get the Pancham Thali, it's just 150 rupees. That's one of the most expensive ones. I had like seven or eight different things in it. I had so many spices, so many flavors, sweets. They gave me extra rice, papad, and buttermilk at the end as well. It's an absolute beast. And for 150 rupees, it's one of the most local places you can eat and cheapest for value. People cram together in tight spaces eating their tallies at lunchtime. <laughs> Area called Crawford Market. Check out the scene. This guy's calling me over to take a picture. Wait. Hello. What are you trying to? Are you playing a game? All of this going on in one phone. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Hey, what's your name? Name? Rahul. Huh? Rahul. Nice to meet you. I'm Jason. <laughs> As you can see, this market is pretty bonkers. A lot of stuff going on, but not too much traffic, just people and bikes mainly coming through. So as for sightseeing in Mumbai, there are not too many things to see as per se. There's the Gateway of India, Haji Ali, and the rest is Kalaba Causeway, Crawford Market, Chaw Bazaar and Dairy. All these places you can go shopping, try the street food, and all those things I mentioned are free to do. So that's the good thing about Mumbai. It won't burst your wallet for sightseeing. Mumbai, full of noise and people. There's always time for a nap. He wants me to take a picture of his boy. Hello. Nice to meet you. Jimmy. Ask for a selfie. Yeah, all three of us. Cool. Street shave. Hello. <laughs> this whole area is like one big workshop. Everybody's doing work. It's uh, quite fascinating. It's like going back in time in a way. And there's not too many cars around this area. Another modern Indian restaurant. Let's have a look at the prices. Snacks, 
Dosas, Punjabi dishes, all beneath 200. All these other Punjabi dishes, reasonably priced. Loads to choose from. Just 18 for roti, chapati, eight, and all the naans and cultures. Dal, just over 100 rupees. Steamed rice, 100 rupees. 145 for a biryani. Desserts around 100 rupees. Drinks, sweets, lassi, juices, milkshakes, and ice cream. So for dinner, I had a Fagan Bartha, which is like onion and garlic with eggplant in a sauce, and also some butter garlic naan. So in total for today, my spend comes to 1,414 rupees, it comes to 16 pound 41. That includes my hostel, my upma, my breakfast, my chai. That includes two train tickets, 10 rupees each way, pancham tali, my dinner, and two bottles of water. So tomorrow I'm leaving India, I'm flying back to London. I've had an amazing two months in India, and thank you so much if you've been following the videos. You can go back and watch them in the playlist if you'd like to. And India's an incredible place. Thank you, and see you in the future. Peace.